This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. One of the big questions we are addressing is why did this building collapse? We will be doing testing on the material, so testing on the concrete. Um, this building was constructed at a time when concrete was a relatively new building material and technique. So we look at individuals at risk for depression based on family members, and so we know that if a parent has depression, then the offspring will be at increased risk for depression. But we don't know why not everyone develops depression, even if their family members have depression. What we do is try to help computers sort of understand how, how people understand music so that then the computer can make these sorts of basic decisions on a huge database and search through that and find everything that, you, that you're actually looking for. The ideal is that you hum a song and it tells you what that song is. In my view, if we believe that knowledge is transformative, then the best investment we can make is in the people who will be the leaders of the next revolution in new transformative knowledge, and that'll be our graduate students. I think the expansion of graduate fellowships is really what's going to keep us competitive. Um, competitive for these incredibly talented young people who have a lot of options. In my own research group, I find that graduate students are most motivated if they can work on the topics that they are themselves most interested in and most passionate about. Graduate fellowships allow students to pursue that passion. Well, I've been meaning the to bare bones. at some Right now we're doing the archaeological excavation at the men's gymnasium that collapsed in 1906. It was under construction when the earthquake hit. The front facade of it peeled off um, in a big heap in front of the building. We have the blueprints, we have letters from the architect and memos from construction companies. We still found deviations from the plans and so that was exciting because it's not that we just uncover exactly what we expected to find. Why is that? What did they encounter when they were building that caused them to change their mind? The graduate student field director is in charge and this is a really good experience for them to have. They can devote themselves to it, they have a lot of energy and they can really focus on the details. Graduate students in general uh, do a lot of the hands-on research that actually gets published from formulating the projects and understanding the scientific hypotheses behind the projects to the actual collection of data, analysis of data, and even the writing of the actual data articles uh, to be published. We need some modest expansion to make sure that all of our graduate programs have a critical mass. That is, they're able to draw the best students in the right numbers to produce really dynamic, vibrant uh, educational communities. In my view, that would mean adding about 125 graduate fellowships, 25 new students a year over five years. My work in China is on the early Shang Dynasty, and having um, a fellowship over several years enabled me to travel to China a number of times, which was very important because I needed to forge my own relationships in a part of the world that is fairly difficult for a foreigner to work in, which has ultimately led to a friendship agreement between the Stanford Archaeology Center and the Institute of Archaeology in Beijing. Having a fellowship that, that covers your tuition means that when you finish school, you can make your own decisions on how you want to affect the world. Instead of saying, well, I have all this debt, so I better go out and do whatever it does that makes me money. When I graduate, I'll be able to say, what do I want to do? I think that's something that's very important about Stanford University is the kind of environment that they foster that, you know, the Stanford Graduate Fellowship will take care of a lot of the funding issues. You just need to worry about the research. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.